wonderful day to review a movie. Oh my god. Ah, man. Welcome to another episode of Rocco Reviews. Rocco! Happy to have you back again. We're here down in the independent film bunker, three million feet underground, where the Disney Corporation will not be able to intercept our feed like in our previous episode. Good! All right, but let's get into the review. Is that not why we are here? The movie for today is called Tantrum by a filmmaker by the name of James Bell. And I thought this would be an appropriate first film to review for Rocco Reviews, as James Bell has been one of my biggest inspirations as a filmmaker in recent years, especially in supporting anti-films. What is an anti-film? A film that is uh, not like uh, most films that you see these days. It seems kind of like a silly thing, but when I saw Tantrum for the first time, I really believed that there was a whole new direction that film as an art form could go in. So, what is Tantrum about? You know, what is this Tantrum movie? Basically, it's about this guy who kills himself and has a firestorm of visions of his future, his past, his most darkest, twisted desires, and a lot of really fucked up and great special effects. Uh, James Bell's Tantrum came out in 2015. It runs only at 33 minutes long, but 33 minutes that you will never forget. Now, the first time that I ever saw Tantrum, I will admit, I was very high. But after watching the movie Sober, I can confidently say that Tantrum is a revolutionary film. Regardless if you're stoned or not, it is filmed on such a low-fi level. This is some low-fi shit. So low-fi that you may even think that it is real. And that is a part of what a lot of the horror in Tantrum uh, is born from. Tantrum is both incredibly corny and incredibly realistic all at the same time. So much that you are constantly questioning reality as you watch the film. It is incredibly engaging in that way. The characters, their outfits, their settings, their performances are so deadpan and just absent that half the time you don't know if you're watching a movie. And the gore! I mean, I can't do a review on Tantrum without getting into the gore. James Bell not only is an amazing director, but also is one of the best special effects artists working in the industry today. His effects are so hyper-realistic, yet so uncanny valley-esque that you can't help but stare into the tube. A level of innovation I think that matches that of Tom Savini or uh, Greg Nicotero, or Chris Wayless, who did the effects for The Fly. I mean, he has completely taken a new angle at how to make an effect horrifying. Plus, the cinematography in his films in some ways looks so careless, but clearly have so much intention behind them in the way that things are framed. The shots are iconic, and when the effects are on screen, it works with the lo-fi surrealism of everything so well that it is just truly entrancing. The style is unique. It's one of a kind. The music done by a group, I believe it is a single person, goes by the name of Slings, is absolutely hypnotic throughout this film. And the horror is only amplified by the bizarre, bizarre noisy, noisy loops that continue throughout the film. The performance of James Bell's wife, Maybell, who's credited as Amanda Bell in the film, does an absolutely incredible job and plays and performs one of the most horrific characters that I have ever seen in a film before. Um, there is this demented family throughout the film that wear these big circly masks and she plays the mother figure in this family and throughout the film doing these grotesque things, decapitations and clawing at a table with bloodied nails. Honestly, the way that she is portrayed on screen and the movement, the body movement of her character haunts my dreams. Mae Bell's performance cannot go unnoticed, and all of the behind-the-scenes work she does for James Bell's films make them what they are. 
James Bell keeps his style consistent throughout the film, which is what makes it so effective despite being so lo-fi and at times seemingly crude or even corny. All the way down to his set pieces, which are put together in a way that comes across as shoddy, but because of the consistency, come out as disturbing, strange, unique, bizarre, and unnerving. Trigger. Now, if you have a hard time with things involving sexual assault, drug addiction, or extreme violence, I highly recommend you skip and pass on this movie. While I am a huge fan of this movie, I totally understand that there are very intense themes throughout that might not be for everybody. All in all, Tantrum is a horrific, surreal, hypnotic masterpiece, and I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. More Oracle reviews will be coming soon. If you'd like me to review a movie, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like me to review your movie, send me a link at rocco.badtaste at gmail.com. Bye-bye! 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 B